Rabia Oksanya Mateo, Iloilo City. With our first contender from this batch from Iloilo City, Rabia Mateo. Congratulations. Next up, we have. All right, now we have Miss Iloilo City, Miss uh, Rabia Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. Well, you are actually. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this um, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to... Uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heart of beauty. Thank you very much, Miss Ula Yudo City, Rabia Mateo. Mateo, Ilo Ilo City. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome here to the final five from Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Congratulations, and now it is time for us to find our final contender in our... Now let's call on Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> For everybody. Okay. <laughs> so I will ask you two questions. You're okay. able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where you receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? 
As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Iloilo City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Well said, Iloilo. Rabia Mateo. Next up, let's see Iloilo, Rabia Mateo. Thank you so much, Iloilo. Only two remained. Let me remind you that in case the winner fails to fulfill her duties and obligations, the first runner-up will take over as Miss Universe Philippines. I will announce the name of the winner first. That means the other contender is our first runner-up. Ladies, take a deep breath. It is time for the moment of truth. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 is... response. All right. In no particular order. Maria. Congratulations, Maria. Maria, your final 10 question was, do you believe Australians should be able to access university education for free? I believe that Australians should be able to access university education for free. And the reason for this is we have an abundance of wealth and the ability to choose what we're investing in, in the benefit of our country. Ultimately, I believe that education is a fundamental human right and that when people have access to education, they can evolve. I think ultimately we're investing in the economy, we're investing in our future, and that's why Australians should have the ability to have access to a free university education. Thank you. Just two more places remaining in the final five. Next to move forward from Victoria is Maria. Congratulations, Maria. Maria, if you had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? Take three seconds to be silent. I asked you to do that because I wanted to show you that powerlessness and injustice are not always dressed up in the way that you think. Sometimes it can look exactly like that, your silence. We have spent most of the year in masks, but how many of us have lived our lives behind another kind of mask? A mask of silence for going after our dreams, challenging the norm, or speaking for those who cannot speak for themselves. So I am here to remind you that so long as you have your will and your voice, you have everything you need to turn any experience into power. Because what can look like an abyss of fear can really be the birthplace of opportunity. And the time to show up as a leader in your life is right now. Thank you. Geniality Award, the national finalist who has been voted by her fellow finalists as the most likable participant who's taken every opportunity from the program. Our winner will take home an amazing voucher with Billy J and Miss Congeniality for 2020.
lot to me. I'm very shocked, but it means a lot because our friendships have had to transcend physical borders, and you know they've been built in the online space. So to all my girls, I'm so proud of you, and I'm very grateful for this honor. Thank you. Thank you. Well, congratulating, 2021. Well, it's now time to find out who is our next Miss Universe Australia. We will announce the places for the top five, starting at fourth runner-up and working our way to Miss Universe Australia 2020. Our 2020 queen will score the MindSpec Parts $20,000 educational business startup grant, as well as $25,000 worth of one-year ambassadorships, including with Emile Australia, Freddie Jeans and Seamless One hair extensions. Plus the opportunity to have a smile makeover with Vogue Dental Studios and of course the title of Miss Universe Australia and the chance to work with the Miss Universe organisation at the international final. We look forward to hearing more on that event from New York very soon. A couple more messages now from our Miss Universe Australia greats. I'm Olivia Rogers, Miss Universe Australia from 2017. My advice to the winner tonight is to enjoy. It is such an incredible year. Make the most of every opportunity because they are really once in a lifetime opportunities. And also don't forget to be yourself. Hey guys, it's Monica Rad, Miss Universe Australia 2015. And I wanted to send all my love to the beautiful finalists tonight. Good luck. I'm currently at home almost eight months pregnant so quite different to where you all are but I just wanted to wish you all the best of luck and to the winner congratulations and get ready for the best most incredible year of your life it is going to be tiring it is going to be busy but it is going to be incredible and the opportunities you'll gain are just next level so really embrace it and be so grateful sending you all all my love We are now down to our final two. One of you is about to become Miss Universe Australia for 2020. If for any reason she is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner up will take her place. Hit the two. Another star, you fade away Afraid our aim is out of sight Wanna see you grateful and very appreciative of the opportunity to be a part of this. I think a lot of people don't understand what it entails but the biggest takeaway is community, it's connection and particularly in a year that is so tumultuous and has been painful for a lot of people, being a part of the Miss Universe Australia family has meant that I'm connected, I'm included, I'm thought of and I've been taken care of. <laughs>